Hey everybody and welcome to Everything RV. This is our first video and we're really excited to bring you a review of our own personal family camper, the 2019 Mallard M312 by Heartland. Come take a look. We'll start off underneath the 18 foot power awning by Lippert Components. This is a Solera model. It includes the LED light strip with the multicolor options and fade and strobe, all that fun stuff people are liking these days. It also has the adjustable pitch arms on each end that allow you to drop each end, allow the water to come off, or you can drop the whole thing down to shade you from the sun. Coming this way, we have the two exterior speakers that are from the Euphurian Entertainment System involved with this camper. You can use your Bluetooth so you can listen to music outside. It's really nice, we love it. Here's a couple power outlets, fresh water tank fill, Moving on to the outdoor kitchen. We've got a hot and cold sink in here with a functional drain. We've got a two burner propane stove top. A nice countertop cooking space. Power coaxial output for your cable TV. 1.7 cubic foot refrigerator powered by 110 AC. Down here we have the LP supply to both the uh, burner, two burner cooktop I just talked about or an outside grill of your choice. But here I want to pause for a moment and talk about the suspension system, the wide track suspension. A lot of campers are going to this these days. It helps reduce your sway while going down the road when you spread your axles apart. We find that it really works and it's worth it. Here is the black tank flush port. It allows you to clean out your black tank with a fresh water hose. It works wonderful. It saves a lot of nasty cleanup that we used to have to do. Here's the exterior door to the bathroom. This allows us to go in and out of our bathroom without traipsing through the RV and bringing dirt and crud through the unit. We love it. It allows people to come in and use our bathroom without going through a whole camper. Moving around the back side, we're gonna look up to see a mounting point for a backup camera or a rear view camera. It's not installed yet, but it will be, and I'm gonna do a review on that when I do. Standard spare tire, outdoor shower, hot cold with long reach hose, great for washing off your dogs, your shoes, whatever you'd like. City water connection, we use a water filter so we drink some better water. 50 amp outside electrical service. It's 50 amp because this unit is capable of having two air conditioners. It comes standard with just one, so we adapt down to 30 amp so we could use a smaller, easier to manage cord. Here is a coaxial cable input so you can bring TV throughout your unit. Here is the six gallon water heater. It's both electric and propane fired. Works really nicely. Here's the first of the three outside hatches for the storage compartments. They're all slam latches. Nice ample storage underneath. Uh, great for all the utilities in this case. Here's the super slide. It's got two really big windows on the side and two smaller windows on the end. Here is a love seat here. And here's a dinette here. They open up really nice and wide, let a lot of air flow through. It makes a big difference for us going towards the front portion of the camper. We have an exterior access door for the pass-through storage compartment underneath the bed. Let, let me note that it is both finished on the sides and the uh, ceiling of it. It's also insulated on the ceiling of it, so it won't have that cold feeling on your bed like a lot of them do. Makes a big difference to us. In the front of here, we've got the Accent LED lights that we're all liking these days. Adds a little pizzazz to the front of your camper. Down here, we've got two 20-pound propane cylinders come standard with it. A manual jack, tongue jack, comes standard with it. We chose to upgrade to an electric one. I will do a video about this one shortly. This one happens to be a Husky, and we love it. We also have added the Reese dual cam sway control and weight distribution system. I'm gonna do a video about that as well. We found that to be also very good for us. Moving over to the passenger side of the front, we have the larger of the two compartment doors that I talked about. Again, 
huge amount of storage in the front here. We store tons of stuff up here. And over here are two separate doors that have switches behind them for the power stabilizer jacks that do come standard with the M312. In regards to the M312, it's about 7,000 pound unladen vehicle weight, 8,600 pound GVW with about a 700 pound tongue weight starting off at. So most half ton vehicles can tow this. Wanted to touch on that before I went inside. Moving into the camper, we're gonna go to our right where we have the bedroom with an RV queen mattress. It's a little bit shorter than a standard residential queen, but just as wide. We've got closets on each side of the bed. Each has a closet a hanging rod in there for your clothes. We've got a storage area to cross the top, use as you see fit. We have reading lights above each side of the bed in addition to two nightstands. Each of the nightstands have a plug-in and a nice storage area underneath. You can certainly plug in your laptop or your tablet or your cell phone at night. Over here, we've got a sliding door give you some privacy when you want it. There's an area right over there where you can attach a small flat screen TV to the wall and a cable hookup right below it. Underneath the bed, ample storage area. Moving out to the main living area. We, when we come in, we have this hall tree or a coat hook apparatus here. Come in, hang up your, your leashes, your coats, Set your wallet down up top, your sunglasses, have a seat, take off your shoes, and store them underneath. It's really quite useful. We love it, and uh, we're really happy it came with it. Over here, we got a nice double bowl sink in the kitchen with a single handle stainless steel pull down residential style faucet. We got them at home, now we've got them in our camper, and we love them. Over here is a three burner Furion LP cooktop with oven underneath. It's got the fancy blue lights that we like these days. Nice glass club cover. We've got the range hood, the microwave, and nice storage up top. There's a pretty decent sized cabinet. Down here we have a couple drawers and storage underneath the sink for your chemicals or whatever. Over here we have the six cubic foot Dometic 110 AC or LP fridge freezer combo. When you're driving down the road, it swaps to propane, so it keeps your stuff cold along the way. When you plug back in, it automatically swaps back over to 110 AC. Over here is the entertainment center. It's also a multi-use area, and you'll see why. It's got a 32-inch TV in it right now. It did not come with any TV. I could see that it could easily go up to a 40-inch TV with ease. Over here is the Furion DV3100 multimedia center with Bluetooth. It powers both the interior and exterior speakers. All around here is nice, deep storage compartments. Use them for whatever you want. They're nice and deep and they've got a lot of doors and not nice light inside. Underneath this big countertop is four doors of one common storage area. We use this one right here for our garbage can. It's centrally located and it's got a door so it keeps the dogs out of it. Here we use this for food prep, for food serving, for charging our tablets or cell phones or laptops at night. I've even used this thing as a changing table when my daughter was uh, still in diapers. Very multi-use area. It's got a nice countertop that most campers just don't have that much countertop. So this is, this is big for us. Over here is a closet. It does have a hanging rod in there, but it has removable shelves as well, so you could use it as you see fit. We use it for a linen closet up top, and then the other units are for the kids' clothes, so it's really close to the bedroom, and it's also really close to the bathroom, so it works well for both. Down here is the included central vacuum. You simply plug in a hose right here, and the hose is very long, and it'll stretch all the way to the other end of the camper, with a floor attachment, you can keep the camper clean while you're camping. It's really nice. It's so much better than a broom and dustpan. Into the bathroom, we have a medicine cabinet, vanity, foot flush toilet, and a nice tub shower combo. The 
tub is really useful for us because again we have dogs and we have a small child and inevitably we need to give somebody a bath it just happens but still very easily used for an adult we did add this expandable shower rod that allows the shower curtain to come out a little further and to give you some more upper body room for adults it makes it a lot easier and more comfortable for us there's the exterior door that I talked about earlier really quite handy we like it a lot over here we've got the kids bunks they're about full size they take full size sheets they have a 300 pound capacity each they each have lights in there they each have a window the kids have loved this feature because they each have their own personal space to do with as they see fit they spread out their stuff in there they sleep in there they have their tablets their stuffed animals whatever they want that's their own space that they get to take care of it does have curtains we can close them in or they can close themselves in as they see fit to give a little privacy just have their own personal space because sometimes camping things get tight and you just need a little space for yourself over here we have the the love seat we currently have a slip cover over it to protect the material because again our dogs like to sleep on there and we want to preserve it for future it does flip out to a bed you can sleep two extra people on there uh, we don't happen to need that in general but we have it there if we need it it is quite comfortable incidentally we do have three storage compartments over the top lots of windows on this slide lots a lot of light and ventilation in to the dinette we have a u-shaped dinette that has lots of storage underneath it all the way around and it's actually quite comfortable we have a family of four and we do sit all here and it is relatively comfortable we can we can enjoy our time together while dining as opposed to being right on top of each other it does go down to uh, provide additional sleeping if you need it and here it's one of our favorite features of this camper, the pantry. It is a full, legit pantry with a locking door. Four shelves, deep shelves, wide shelves, and they all have a lip on them. This allows you to bring all the food that you want. You can stock up at the grocery store. If you need extra room for pots and pans, it's also great for that. It closes, it locks latches I should say when you're driving down the road your stuff stays in there it's not rolling around the floor and when you get to the campsite you open it up and all your foods on the floor we love it I think every pantry every camper should have a pantry and we're not gonna buy one without one in the future in summary the Mallard M312 by Heartland is a great camper for our family it's likely a great camper for many American families it's easily towed by a half ton vehicle it's got a large open flexible floor plan with tons of storage it's got a nice interior kitchen with a huge pantry. It's got a nice entertainment area with lots of storage around it. It's got two big bunks for the kids and two exterior doors. We enjoy the coat rack feature as we found it very useful. It's got a beautiful outdoor kitchen under an 18 foot power and lit awning. We love our camper and we're going to use it for many years to come. This is Jim from Everything RV. Thanks for joining us. Please hit like and subscribe. Make sure to join us for the next video. Thanks.